So Ian, what's your role here at Khan Academy? My role at Khan Academy is uh, international market development. So what does that mean? What, what, do, what does that mean? <laughs> um, international market development means uh, our team is thinking really hard about how to make Khan Academy really useful for students outside of the U.S. And so you can imagine that there are uh, a, a lot of students in the world, and the U.S. population is only a small sliver of that. So how can we make Khan Academy really useful for students if you're based in India or if you're based in Brazil or Mexico or any other country? Um, and I think that's that's a really hard problem. <laughs> And, I mean, it's core to our mission, free world-class education. Free world-class education, anyone. Anyone, anywhere. anywhere. Not just yeah. English-speaking students in the United States with access to the internet. That is correct. Right. Yes. It's, yes. It's, and so what does that mean? I mean, it's, it's so big of a, of a charter that you have. How, how do you make sense of that? Yeah, I think uh, we, we have to um, dissect the problem in a lot of ways. So one question that we're asking ourselves is, what does content look like for um, students in India? And how is that different from the content that uh, students in the U.S. would Why want? Why India? Um, India is an interesting country. India has um, a lot of students, um, a large proportion of the population um, is um, in the K-12 uh, system. And so India is, uh, is, a, uh, is, is a country that we want to explore more because there's so much potential there. Um, Did you look at other countries? We did, yeah. <laughs> I mean, uh, you know, it's, it's going to take us a long time to um, to hit every single country, but countries where there's an immense amount of impact that, that we can create, which means that there's a lot of students, there's a lot of teachers, um, and there's a lot of desire to learn. So um, uh, by, looking at, um, by, by looking at the number of students that are coming to Khan Academy from different parts of the world, we see there's a lot of students coming from India, a lot of students coming from Brazil, Mexico, France, Turkey. Uh, 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 Those are all countries. countries where we have partners. As, as you, so, so what I'm hearing is that we have some of these places like Brazil and yeah. Turkey and France where we already have strong partnerships, but you are, I guess India is the next thing. India is the next thing, right. And so we've been so fortunate in having this product and having really excited partners in different countries like Brazil say, we want to help make Khan Academy more well known. Um, same thing for Mexico. And India kind of is this next country um, that we just were so, so excited about. And, and what does that translate to you? Like, what's your day like? Like, what did you do mm. today? Or is there a typical day? Yeah, there is no typical day. Um, Khan Academy is such an awesome place that, um, you know, every day you come and you're like, what is my day going to look like? What am I going to learn today? Every single day, you're going to learn something new, um, and your day is um, going to look different. So um, if I had to say what a typical day looked like, I get in at around 9 AM, um, and I start off the day always reading the news, um, understanding what's happening in the world, because that's really important. How, um, how are things happening in politics going to affect education? How is education going to affect agriculture? So trying to connect the dots. Um, so after reading the news, um, uh, we usually do meetings either with uh, um, with the team and work on our strategy so how are we going to solve um, problems in um, particular uh, countries how are we going to solve problems with particular content etc so really working with the entire um, organization to to figure out um, how to tackle big problems that we have coming our way and then there are a lot of meetings with external partners um, so organizations that are so excited about Khan Academy's, Khan Academy's mission that come and say how can we work together and so having a lot of those meetings which is always fun um, because you know that's where a lot of the creativity happens and we get new ideas that we can explore um, and we have lunch <laughs> that's the morning that's the morning uh, and um, and, in and the then it's 905 <laughs> <laughs> and then in the afternoon um, you know I think uh, we have uh, time where we just of work um, and process the things that have happened, um, get some of the ideas down on paper, and we um, and then we work out strategies. Um, and I typically wrap up the day at around five or so, um, and uh, and drive home and think about the exciting things that have happened and figure out you know what my day is going to look like tomorrow and rinse and repeat. What's the hardest thing about this? The hardest thing about this, gosh, um, there's so many things that we can do. Just so so many things that we can do. A lot of great ideas um, that you know from, uh, from 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 different people on the team. It's just a matter of prioritization. What do we want to do first? How can we set ourselves up in the short term to be successful so that we pave our path for the long term? Um, so you know, taking a hundred ideas and saying which three or four are we going to focus on today that is going to help us be successful in the long term.
that not doing those other 97 things is hard. It is extremely hard, I think, especially when you know you're surrounded. Because idea by number four looks good. It does, yeah. <laughs> and you know, if if we can have um, the the um, you know a, a team that can uh, that can really execute on every single one of these ideas, great. But I think we also put a lot of emphasis on focus and being able to do a few things really, really well. And how does someone become you? I mean, I don't oh. I don't remember a major being offered in college called you know international market development lead or something like that. How did, how did, how did you yeah. end up here? I ended up here because I think throughout my career, you know, I've, I've worked in investment banking, I've worked in accounting, I've worked in as a career counselor, I've worked as a recruiter, I've worked in marketing, right? But in my entire career path, something that has always been consistent is this passion for education and just wanting to use education as the, the most powerful lever to do good in the world, um, and so I've never really gotten a lot of passion out of you. You seem very low energy. <laughs> this is this is me on a low energy. Yeah, I know, I know the, the viewers might not realize. <laughs> but yeah, sorry, I interrupted. No, no, I think it's uh, um, it, you know, always, always, um, you know, understand that education is is such an important part of my life and how I've gotten here today by having really great teachers, really great resources, mentors, um, and being able to build this product um, and build this thing for the world. Um, there's, there's, there's no better place to work than here. And, and how did you end up here? How did you end, I mean, particularly at Kai, what were you doing before? Um, I, gosh, in my, my career I've worked at um, universities, uh, I've worked at Microsoft, I've worked at Google, I worked at a company called Coursera, um, and uh, I had the fortune of meeting you Four, four years ago um, and learned about Khan Academy. And that didn't make you run away as fast. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this guy is pretty interesting mm -hmm. and he's, he's you know, ma making these videos and has just such a, s s such a, um, a soothing voice oh, and yeah, um, right, yeah. re really great ways of uh, making people understand yeah. things. And you know, it's in really interesting that four years later we've built this incredible product that's not just videos anymore. It's exercises, interactive exercises that learn um, that, that learn how you're learning and give you a uh, personalized adaptive plan. Um, and so let's take that and you know how do we make every single person in the world have access to it? I think that's um, t to me such a hard and exciting and you know it's it's going to be a long term problem that, that that we solve. And I'm so excited to be here finally after you know four years <laughs> and. Feel like this is like the mecca of of um, where really cool ideas um, intersect with education, intersect with technology, um, that you know can grow to the entire world. I mean, you know, what, seriously, what do you expect in ten years? If we if we do another one of these in ten years, what, like, what, what do you think? What, what are you going to reflect back on? What do you think we're going to hopefully have done? You know, the, the, this is a really it's it's a, it's a hard problem, and I think at, it, ten years from now, right? If we were to look back and, and say. Was Khan Academy successful? I think we want to see the impact that it has had on people's lives. And you know, how do you break that down? Has it made an impact on your education? Do you feel like your education has improved because Khan Academy has some small or significant way? Has it improved your career? Um, has what you've um, what, what you've used Khan Academy for has that helped you build confidence in your job and helped you um, you know understand concepts more easily? Does it help you fit in better at work because you um, are more comfortable talking? about specific things and has it had an impact on your social life I don't know that's, that's, that's an area right that um, uh, those that videos are coming soon <laughs> <laughs> um, but maybe be because you use Khan Academy you were able to make friends and you were able to connect better with your classmates or your teachers you know all these things if we can look back 10 years from now and you know um, we interview students you know all you know a hundred plus million students um, and, and we get an assessment from them to say yeah this has helped me, then we've done our job. What kind of scale or reach do you, do you hope we're at? Uh, well, I think Khan Academy um, uh, is a product that you can access if you um, have internet connection, right? And that's something that over the next you know, uh, 10 years, we hope um, everyone has access to the internet. Um, and so uh, in terms of scale, um, I imagine that as many people that have the internet um, could be using Khan Academy. And so eventually if we get there, that's gonna be phenomenal because Khan Academy isn't just for, you know, if you're in fourth grade. It's when you um, start learning to, you know, what's the upper bound? The upper bound is, you know, whatever you wanna make it. Retirement planning. Yes, or exactly, beyond. or beyond, yes. or beyond. Afterlife um, plan. no, I'm <laughs> <laughs> no, no. I think it's a little bit <laughs> metaphysical. Yes, um, yeah, no, well, thanks for being part of this adventure.
It's uh, absolutely a pleasure to be here.